Welcome to the Brooklyn Cafe, to all our friends in South Florida with Christmas. Welcome, welcome, welcome to you. Around the corner, you're, you're peeking me, so on one, you want to turn the speaker down, turn the game down. Oh, the game is the red, so you got to turn it down, turn the speaker down. That's because we turn it Welcome to all our friends in South Florida, LA, San Francisco. Now we are way too loud. Can I take care of that? Way too loud, way too loud, way too loud. Welcome to all of our friends everywhere. It is, gosh, Friday before Christmas, which is so hard to believe, right? I can't see. Amazing. Time flies. It's 73 degrees in South Florida, and it's Christmas coming. Oh, Only in Florida can you have rain, and it gets so cold at night, and then the next morning you wake up, and you go to put on your boots, and you put on your tank top because it's 73 degrees. But I hear that it, travel season is absolutely crazy. The roads are busy, so if you're driving, if you're flying, have a wonderful, safe weekend. As we move into our Christmas, Christmas weekend, Freddie. Christmas, Christmas weekend. weekend. Now, do you know? Do you know? I was told today. Be careful when you order stuff online. If you're ordering stuff from Instagram, don't. Really? Yep. Every con artist in the world is out there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny because I tried to order. They're gonna laugh at me, but I'm gonna say it anyway. All right, only because everyone people, now knows I am so authentic who I am. It's a glam light mirror. That. So it's, I don't know how it sticks up, but somehow it sticks to your makeup mirror and it's got these like four big glam light bulbs. Mm -hmm. So you have all this light to do your makeup with. That's why. Again, it's coming to the desert island with, with my concealer. That's why you're not allowed to buy them. But I tried to buy it because it looked really cool. I tried to buy three of them. I mean, it's like $21. It yeah. wouldn't take me past the thing to buy it. So clearly it must have been a scam, but man, what a great idea. So if anyone has one of these, it just sticks with suction cups. It gives you four lights. Amazing. You can take it with you. I know. To be me. I'm just saying. I think I fell into one of your scams. Not your scam, but the scam you're talking about. Don't, don't, but especially Instagram right now is the number one culprit. It's amazing. And you know you can't get your money back. Good luck trying to do that. Even so, the BBB was saying, don't do it. So just so. be careful. It's definitely holiday time. And normally on Fridays, we have our botaito. How do I do? Botaito. At 11.30, but what happened is all our Latina ladies that come, they were shopping for Christmas. So we are here, and we're really excited because we took our food from our 11.30, and they were kind enough from the Colombian Coffee House to stick around for our 12 o'clock show. And we've got some empanadas or empanadillas. What's the difference? I don't know. I was asking. <laughs> I was asking. We've got some, what do we have? What are those? They are empanadas. Empanadas. What is the difference between empanadas and empanadillas? We in Colombia don't eat empanadillas. I really don't know what is an empanadilla, to be completely <laughs> honest with you. I have an idea. I venture to say it's a Freddyism. It goes from the book, hashtag Freddyism. So it's not a real word. Why do you say that? Because you don't know what it is and they don't have any clue. Empanadilla could be like, like, like sabrosisi, you know, like having a uh, palabra de cariño, like a word of care. Monica, yeah. what's an empanadilla? A sm I'm thinking it's a small empanada. She I think. Uh, I'm thinking you made it up from the Bronx. Yeah. <laughs> I took like that, that from the Bronx, there. Yeah. yeah. The <laughs> real word is empanadas, and uh, you can call empanaditas to make it more like caring. Cariñoso. 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 Yes. I don't know why. Missy. That's what we do. Who Missy. called him Missy? That's what we used to do before. Oh, he smells good. Oh, popcorn. <laughs> we have popcorn. Popcorn empanadas. Empanadas? empanadas? Yes. Empanadas. empanadas. From Colombian Coffee House. Colombian Coffee House. And we have the beautiful voice of Christina Naki. Oh, my gosh. Now, she's going to be singing sing. a little bit. And it's unbelievable. You hear this thing. This, this chick can sing. Yeah. And, Incredible uh, voice. It's unreal. Unreal. So Thank kind of you. Fortunate that that show before Christmas. Oh no, we have one more show. We actually have a, a show on that Monday. Is, are we open Monday? No. Yes, he's oh, opening okay, for so us. And Monday yeah, show. It's special I, for you, nobody else. Really? Yes. And you know why I'm really excited? Because very we rarely do we have the opportunity to bring kids on our show because they're in school. So we take it full advantage of the holiday season and bringing them on. And we have six kids from E Better Live Better. Hey, Monday? You want to bring your kids? Better about what they have learned in their classes as far right. as food and working on a budget. And 
and the right foods to eat. So I'm really excited that we get to bring some kids on next week as well. We got kids coming on next week too? You're going to do this to me before Christmas? <laughs> no better way than to touch your heart. But all I ask is that you please don't make Diana cry today. I'm not going to make anybody <laughs> cry. She's pregnant. It's so hard, don't worry, you are not the only one. Many people you know come to the show and say, what I happened? More, I look more pregnant than you. <laughs> My belly just showed like a month ago, that's it. It's pretty amazing. How many months are you pregnant? Six. Get out. <laughs> yes. And what you have twins? <laughs> really? Why not? But I'm going to start a walk party now. I need do someone you, just to do, do this Do you morning. have children before or is this your first? This is my first one. Oh, okay. So it's a girl. It's a girl? Yes, it is. You know that already? I, I does know. Does your husband know this? Yes, he and knows. If he does, he's knowing now because he's probably watching. <laughs> yeah, he's hearing us. All right, so let's talk about Colombian Cafe. Colombian, Colombian Coffee House. House. You know, since we've been Coffee working House. with Paula Raina and Raina Media, she's given us some great marketing tidbits on Facebook. And people come to us and say, don't you know? We don't know because Facebook changes everything every day. So apparently they must have us classified as a coffee house because we hashtag our coffee all the time. And then they said, you should really like this page. And your page came up. And I'm looking at it, and I thought, oh, my gosh, they're down the street from us. And I go, Freddie, have you ever been there? He says, no. And we have to have you ever been No. We pass it every day when we leave here. You have to. When you head south on Federal, which is fifth, you have to pass you guys. Yes. And I'm really glad that Facebook said I needed to like your page because, oh my gosh, not only is your coffee amazing, but breakfast. I've never had salad for breakfast until the other day. Yes, sir. It was you really like good. Rabbit. Why not? You like a rabbit? It's kind of brunch. It's kind of brunch? What? It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. What kind of brunch is that? Kind of you, know, you know, you like a rabbit, man. This is a ways <laughs> rabbit for a week, but my father said, just keep eating them. <laughs> just keep eating them. But we met Diana, and I'm so glad that you're here, and you brought some food. Tell us about Columbian Coffee House and how you got started. It's a family business? Yes, it is. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the invite. Uh, it was a pleasure for us to have you guys over there at the coffee shop. Um, and also, you know, thank you for the invite to the beautiful program and the beautiful set and everything is being amazing and we really appreciate the opportunity that you give us to be here today. You are always welcome. Thank you. <laughs> In English or Spanish? Always. Always. <laughs> now, I got a question for you. You are situated right next to a restaurant that for me, and she'll tell you, for three years until he closed, was the number one restaurant for me in the world of and I never noticed that you were next door. <laughs> and you've been there for a couple of years, you said? In March is going to be our second year. So a year and nine months so far. Let me tell you, this coffee, <laughs> it smells so good and it tastes so There is definitely a difference. I wish Annie were here. She said she was mm -hmm. coming, but she would love this coffee. What is your staple? Is it the coffee that you serve? Because the food is delicious, right? It's both, actually. It's a combination of both. You come to our shop, you, fi you find a really nice environment. You are like welcome, family, um, ambience, you know, warming. And then you try the food, and then you try the coffee. And it's like the combination is just amazing. We just, we are a family business. Um, I'm here with my partner, which is Natalia. She's my cousin. Cousin Natalia. Nat Hello. How are you? Fine. And where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From we are from Colombia, oh, yeah. Okay. And the two of you have been in business since the very beginning? Yes. Wow. Whose idea was it to do the coffee house? It was interesting. <laughs> um, I was here in the United States for like uh, 12 years already, and I just decided to quit my job because I was tired of the 9 to 5 schedule. I so was she uh, have a 9 to 9 schedule. It's way different, you know, when you are in a place where you interact with people, when people always come, um, say good things about what you do and your coffee, your food, your pastries, everything that you, you offer. I mean, you guys sell the deal, right? Yeah. Because Thank it, doesn't, you. it doesn't matter how good the food is. If you walk in there and you're a tyrant, ain't nobody going right, in there. Right, right. Well, yes and no. We went in there and she was lovely, but if the coffee was eh and the food was eh. Still bring her on. Well, we'd still bring her on, but still bring it's And then I would tell her the coffee was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> because it doesn't matter. But it matters. The people is what matters. Food business is not an easy business. Right. Were either of you in the food business before? No. I, it was kind of my dream for such a long time. Uh, but so I was you had her, your, her dream? 
No. <laughs> Did you work the food business too? No, actually, no food business. My dad is our chef, and he had food business, business in Colombia. Okay. And I knew it was really hard, <laughs> so I was really, you know, like... Skeptical? Yes. And you were definitely afraid of getting into this venue? Yes, Did but I wanted a business of coffee, because okay. I like coffee. And right now, in Colombia, uh, we are, you know, developing, developing? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, an industry around the coffee uh, because actually we didn't drink a really good quality of coffee there because all, everything is exported to abroad. So now we are trying to drink really good coffee in Colombia, especially in Bogota. I'm from Bogota. So I wanted a, a, a business like that. Diana was looking for something she has always dreamed with food business. So we were talking like, hey, look, there is an opportunity. Someone is uh, doing coffee businesses there. In here in Florida, I was living in Colombia. And I sent her the information, but just like information for her. <laughs> and then she took, she called me like, hey, why don't we do the, this together? Are you already in Florida, both of you? No. You weren't even here. No, so she me, come wait, to, wait, to, wait. For, to <laughs> open the business. So you went to Bogota <laughs> to sell her the idea that you never planned on doing. Exactly. <laughs> and then the two, you flew to Florida first, and only Florida? Why not New York? Why not Chicago? Because she was living here. I was here. living here. Yeah, and my parents here. and my siblings live here. So you came and you decided to open here. Exactly. And of all Why the not? places in the world, you're on Atlantic. Yeah. Right off of Atlantic right Avenue and then right. It's been three years. It's been two. Two years. Two years. So it, it'll be three years. Yeah. And then four. But you're off of Atlantic, and in Atlantic, it's not the easiest place to be because you're surrounded by food. Right, right. But it was a challenge right in front of a Starbucks. So we just decided to just take a challenge, be I crazy. I didn't even mention that. It's okay. But there's really no comparison. There yeah. Isn't. And it's funny because there is, we got into this coffee business. Because we wanted to give like another show. Yeah, I could get a cup of coffee anyway, and I wouldn't pay Starbucks price either. Crazy. I mean, ten dollars for a cup of coffee is getting a little bit out of hand. So we started doing this, and we met a coffee gentleman from your neck of the woods in South America, and he put the whole pack together. Mm -hmm. We didn't do any of it. Okay. Now he wants to explode it because you're right. South America coffee is, and it has a different taste to it. Yes. Your coffee has a different, more delicate taste. It's smooth, but it's robust. Carnation is the breakfast or <laughs> 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 See, I'm getting learning. <laughs> 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 I'm learning Freddy Spanish. We just make it up and say, yeah, it sounds good, Robusto. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's an interesting story. So now you don't regret the coffee business. Yeah. 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 Sometimes she, 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 of course, you know, uh, regret it because, you know, I'm just making fun of the whole <laughs> thing because she's like, oh my God, how, how I came all the way here to make, to do a business with Diana, my cousin, my family, you know, that you hear so many times that we do business with families, a nightmare here and there. But honestly, it's been like an amazing experience. Uh, it, it brought us as a family together. It gives Natalia the opportunity to be here with her father, her mom, her siblings, because she was the only one that was there. Yeah, what's it like being in Florida for you? Mm. Uh -huh. What's it like, huh? <laughs> like when I talk She's to wondering about this yeah. whole thing. <laughs> about being in Florida. You picked up, you moved here, you started a business, whole mm -hmm. other country. Yes. I mean, I have been here only for vacation. How do you like it? It's do great. You, do I you, like it. Live yes, live? I love it. You live now, here? yeah. Since we opened the, the store, yeah. And when, and, and and that white container, that white thermos, Annie? The Spanish best coffee. coffee. Spanish coffee, Colombian <laughs> coffee. Oh, my gosh. Annie, let me see your hair. Let me see your hair. You like it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> surprise. How did she know what you were talking about? Because I saw it on Instagram. Ah. Um, <laughs> now, the other, the other part of this whole thing is you have disagreements, business disagreements. I tried with one all the time. She was. It would, it would be real. But you fight all the time because you have two different personalities. Yeah. 
completely. But do you know, do you know the secret to success in business is that the two of you do not agree. Because if you agree, the business would die. It is the disagreement and the two sides, you know, a quarter has it's two sides. It's a difference sides. of opinion. Maybe not a disagreement. It's the difference of philosophy and opinion. You can flower it. however you want. Right? <laughs> the bottom line is that if you want to go like home. I take out an umbrella and you run through the raindrops. But rain it's still raining outside. Just saying. But so what? What is what? <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but the end, the end game here is that I see when there are certain people that come into the store, because I was observing, they go in there and they read, they go in there, they talk to you, and you're talking about different things that are going around around you, you've made friends, you've made relationships, and you guys sell the business. You know, you could be selling piraguas, but you don't know what that is. <laughs> piragua. Mm -hmm. Piragua is like a boat. Uh -huh, it's <laughs> a boat. like a little boat. A piragua is the ice sheet. <laughs> well, right over there, she oh, sits down at okay. the table. Like she sits at the table, everyone, right? You wel they welcome you, you have all conversation. She's it's like family. Yeah. And do you know that that is a Latino straight? Yeah. Latinos do that. Yeah. They come in, they Italians do it too, I gotta admit. I gotta admit, Italians do it too. <laughs> they come in and they sit down and they wanna see me say, uh, what's the chef? This thing stinks. But nobody ever says that. This is really price. good. And you said your dad's the chef? Yeah. Yes. And the food, he said the food was good. You had eggs, but they're really good. They were. Now, you have your dad, your, your dad? My your dad. dad. Your dad. My dad. And who else do you have in the family in the business? Um, it's three of us now. A cousin of ours is um, is helping us. We have a partner, another cousin that is in Colombia as well. So, you know, it's our, our family. husbands. <laughs> our what? Husbands. <laughs> oh, yeah, they help us all the time also. You forgot them? So I, 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 I already is forgot Mark about someone's them. someone's husband? With no, no, no. Mar uh, <laughs> he's actually married with a Colombian girl, and he, she was the one that brought him to us, and he's doing all our media, social media. And well, you did a good job because that's how I found them. So, however you have tagged them and posted for them, that's, that's exactly how it's I found it the other day. And Freddie says, "How? Why would we go? I don't know this place." We have everything that's, not what, that's oh, not what I said. That's not what I said. What I said was, when we drove there, there's no place to sit. I didn't know how big it was. Because some of the places you, you bring, Lord, I gotta admit. I have these ideas sometimes, and I say, we just gotta go. And he says, all right, here we go again. My ideas will usually lead us in a Yeah, but I walk in there, and sometimes there's motorcycle gangs in there, and there's no place to sit. Ooh. <laughs> but you're happy. I, and the coffee. Yes, this time I had the I was most really beautiful happy. cappuccino. Yes, and she does the flower thing. Oh, great, <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. Are your husbands supportive, have always been supportive of this idea? Because now you're dealing not with two minds, now you're dealing with four. Yeah, well, in yeah. my case, in my case, we were living in Colombia, so we um, were starting all the business, and then we found that um, it, gives, it gives us um, a visa, a business visa. And he can work, you know, here legally everything. And he's working here now. Yeah, and he's working here now. So, he Th so be very happy. that yes, that's really well, really important for you. us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he does both though. He helps us a lot with the financial analytic part of the business okay. because he's a industrial engineer. So he actually um, help us with all the process of how to grow and what 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 we can be and how we can go to the next step. So he, I do all the accounting and finance, and he actually helped me to put the plan together. And it's it's a big, you know, it's, it's a, we we have a really good team, like four of us. My husband is an electrical contractor, so everything that has to do with the repairs, main things, since contacts, the blender to the <laughs> yeah, every machine. So uh, he helped us on, on that side. Well, that's and, fantastic yeah. because your overhead is straight. How yes. nice is it to see family get along and work in business? It is. Oh my gosh, so delightful to see everyone look, work, work together and commend everybody else and say, well, this works beautiful, right? Wait, you don't often see that. Chrissy was shaking no. her head. I think it's very rare. It is rare. You know, my father was in the paint and contract business for 58 years with his brothers. And when you drove to Brooklyn, there's this big brick wall in there, and it's the Santori Brothers. They were there for eight years. Really? Is it still there? Santori Brothers. Come on, it's from the 60s. It would be kind of cool as a landmark, though. Mm -hmm. That's the way I used to see it, but then, um, but then at the end of this run, everybody went their own way and the business mm -hmm. collapsed. So mm -hmm. 
But it, it is, it's a good feeling because on Sundays, all the brothers got together and we went to Connecticut Beach and there were like 20 cars. And everybody jumped in the station wagons and went to the beach and it was all family. It was ridiculous. But the business is what actually drove them to this country. My father made $1.25 a week for the first week in the contract business and they go up slowly and, and it's just a start to write a book on it. But you know, congratulations are made. Now what are you gonna do tomorrow? You know, you're gonna need more room. What's the next step? <laughs> you know that, right? Yes. Um, we, the plan is to just settle this little one, like, you know, it's our baby kind of, so we're gonna just uh, settle very well and then the idea is to open a few more. Uh, people is asking us to open one in Wellington, in Boca, you know, in um, either a Fort Lauderdale, <laughs> even Miami or... Yeah, or right? Yes, of course. I'm the operational manager. And well, this, so this, this is a challenge. This is <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Which is really unique. That's, that's just unheard of. Yeah. Now, would you rather open bigger or multiple places? Multiple places. I think multiple places so people that is not living around there right, will be um, will have the opportunity to try it us and to really, really enjoy a really good cup of, cup of coffee. We actually bring our beans green from Colombia and we roast them, roast them there here. So the coffee is fresh, it's smooth, it has a really good amount of caffeine without being overwhelming to you. You roast your own beans at the coffee house? Mm -hmm. Not at the coffee house, but we have here. A, yeah, yeah, a here. We have a roaster in the ring that wow. do for us, do roast it for us. Very cool. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna have to ask him a question before we go to commercial break. Then we come back. We gave Christina some time to have her coffee and warm up. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm yeah, good. good. Are you a little tired? Warm up? I'm not Italian. No, no, I'm tired. tired. Oh, I am tired. I did a, I did, I did, I did some shows. I'm doing straight shows, singing all week, so I'm. Whew. Well, I'm so so that's time, okay. But I have to ask I you. I don't want to strain her voice. No, no, I'm fine. A question. I'm waking up now. I'm good. Freddie and I walk into your coffee shop. It's like two crazy people walk into a coffee shop, right? Like the priest and the rabbi. One we walk crazy. Into, <laughs> we walk into your coffee shop and we say, we tell you who we are. Will you come on our show? What did you think? I, I think it was great. You I think, think we were crazy. No, and not at all. I was like, sure. <laughs> we are always open to please our customers. At that time, you were our customer, so I said yes to everything. She said yes, and here she is. I heard. I said, do you want to drag race for pink slips into the store? No, you asked her. You said, do you have coffee? She said, yes. You said, do you have food? And she said, yes. And you, she said, she do you have Portarita? Portarito? Portarito. Portarito. Thank you, thank you, thank I got you a guy. You need a guy, I got a guy. With vCard Global, all your contacts are in the palm of your hand. Never leave home without your business cards or brochures again. vCard is the ultimate marketing tool. No more printing cards or brochures. vCard fits in the palm of your hand and is always with you. vCard is a powerful networking tool that virtually promotes sharing and builds referrals for your business. VCard Global, the virtual business card. Hold your business in the palm of your hand. Contact Jennifer at jenng.vcardinfo.com, the world's most intelligent business card. I got a guy, jenng.vcardinfo.com. Cruise Planners, an American Express travel representative, has a tremendous reputation for quality, service, and very competitive pricing for all of your travel needs. As a Cruise Planners travel advisor, Paul Vadiano will help you discover exciting adventures around the world, from cruises to land tours and completely packaged vacations. Paul specializes in all types of travel and will create an unforgettable vacation, wedding, or event just for you. 
Find Paul at www.cruiseoptics.com, on Facebook, or by phone at 561-232-2626. We make your travel dreams come true. If a tree falls in the woods and no one is around to hear it, does it make a sound? Have you ever felt that your voice goes unheard? And you think that you can make a difference if only someone would just listen. It's time for women in business to have a place to step into your power, a platform to embrace your hopes, dreams, and your visions, a voice to heal and restore. Your voice can make a difference. We have the platform to share your story and let your voice be heard. Be kind to yourself. Give yourself the chance to be heard and shine bright. Contact New Dawn Media by texting CAFE to 80800. That's C-A-F-E to 80800. Watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. at the cafe, give them a call at 888-565-1470, toll free. Come on in for a cup of coffee or call to share a thought for the day and get all the information you need to help your business grow. Don't forget, sharing is caring, and to like this video, let's reopen the cafe doors now. have one chicken, one beef empanada. One is filled up with beef, of course, and the other one with uh, wow. like smashed potatoes and on chicken and oh our, you know, spices. So Ready very natural. Now, would you, do you want to eat first and then sing or do you want to sing first? I can sing and then eat. Right, okay. So sure <laughs> we set up. Let you all set up for that. Make sure that we have the right song that we're going to play first. Now, tell me about, this is the beef. What is an empanada? What's the outside? You know what song we're going to play? It is actually yeah. gluten free corn tortilla. You know what we're going to do? And he's going to show Oh my you gosh, Freddy. He's going to show up all the mics and stuff. And this is unbelievable. Fry beef. It's a gluten free corn tortilla. That's the beef. It's a gluten free? Yeah, the outside it's uh, it's a, a crossed uh, kind of uh, uh, corn oh, tortilla right. that is gluten free. This is a corn tortilla. Actually, we, uh, you know, the, the, there are a lot of kinds or kind of empanadas uh -huh. in Latin America. This one's different. Our, our empanadas, I mean, Colombian empanadas, are fried and are, are really, really, really good. You <laughs> need to try the, the ají, the hot sauce, that's right. really famous and, <laughs> and um, for our customers, they love it. And right. yeah. Oh my God. We are trying, we are trying to, to um, stay, I don't know, is it in, in the chicken? market, fresh market. Oh, yeah. We try to go in the fresh market, for like on, for, the ahi, for the ahi, for the ahi, because people <laughs> want us to sell the, the hot sauce, like in the little containers, which we do at the store. Um, we It's a homemade, all natural ingredients, hot sauce. Hot we sauce. make it every day. We, yeah, it's, uh, our food is really, really fresh. Yes. Try the hot sauce. I did, it's unbelievable. <sighs> I found the like now. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, and then the and dangerous. The empanadas <laughs> is our. Um, <laughs> Want some more hot sauce? Absolutely. The hot sauce is really good. Oh my gosh. So All we're right, going to have. We're going to keep having a show while we, you and I eat like we do every day. Keep going. Okay. These are different because the other empanadas, we had didn't have the corn in it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're made something else and were fried. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some yeah. of them are baked. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what the hell that was. This is unbelievable. Yes. All right, Christina, we're keeping yours. We'll warm it up. Sounds good. You guys ready? What song are we going to queue up for Christina? With Christina Nazi, and we met Christina through Steve Oak from New York Sounds when we were at mm -hmm. Corner Porch last, mm -hmm. last two weeks ago, I guess. I think two weeks, yeah. And also save the date because Corner Porch, which is right near Colombian Coffee House, is having a New Year's Eve party. It is no cover, and there will be a free champagne Coke 
on New Year's Eve, so check that out, and music provided by New York Sound. And Christina is, oh my gosh, a voice of an angel. Thank you. And Facebook, these are cover songs. What else do we need to say to Facebook? They're cover songs. And what? <laughs> these are cover songs. <laughs> yes, Facebook, these are cover songs. All right, Christina, what are we going to start with? Okay, we're going to start with Ooh Baby Baby. It was originally sung by Smokey Robinson, uh, but I'm going to do the Linda Ronstad cover. So this is a little cover. All right. Little cover. All right, so shut it down and keep her up. say since I was probably four or five years old. I used to play. Years old? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And give you or take. And you teach, right? I do. I teach voice and piano lessons as well, um, besides performing. I perform at Arturo's restaurant. I'll be there January 16th. We start at 7 o'clock. It's fun. We always have a good time. And then I do a lot of country clubs. Uh, I do Mirasol, St. Andrews, Boca West, a lot of stuff. So we always have a good time. What I would like to do is, I, I live at Bokeh Country Club, mm -hmm. and I would like to introduce them to you. Sure. Because I'm going to tell you, you are, with the songs that you sing, you are right up the alley of Bokeh. Oh, thank you. I mean, it is unbelievable. And the talent that you have, it's unheard of. You know, you should be, I don't know what your aspirations are, because we doesn't want to be on the label. Such a range. You're classically trained. Yeah. Yep. I studied opera. 
So I uh, went to a high school, performing arts high school. I'm from Michigan originally. So it was called Interlochen Arts Academy. And I learned all about opera and had training. And then I came down here for college because I wanted the warm weather. And uh, I just loved it. I learned so much. A lot about teaching as well. Very nice. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're teaching uh, Steve Lejoy, right? I am. Natalia's yeah, very she great. Doing? She's doing great. She's, she's really good. Yep. We'll have to get her on with you when yep. she's feeling yes, better, right? Better. Absolutely. Are they, are they feeling, I don't know, he hasn't asked me, are they feeling better? I, I don't know. I mean, I talked to her a few days ago, and she was she was getting better. I'm getting better. Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. to oh, bring yeah. you guys back on together. Your yeah. voice is incredible. Thank you. Do you have another song for her? Absolutely. Do you have a second one? I do. Oh, yeah. Do you have a second okay. one? Freddie, all I can yeah. tell you is lead empanadas. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's really, really rare that Dawn eats on the set. Very rare. Well, have you noticed I'm into elastic clothes these, this week? Because that's well, all it's I really, I've never seen you eat a whole empanada. I know. Are you impressed? I'm shocked. <laughs> we are glad. Yes, yesterday we had Chef on, and she made a, her pasta, which was unbelievable. Today, the empanadas. This sauce, I don't know what is in this. What is in this sauce? Microphone. Love. How did that come out? <laughs> What is in the sauce? Love. <laughs> love. <laughs> a lot of love. Well, you so can introduce them to the vegan. I'm assuming it's vegan because it looks like Yes, of course. Yes, it's, it's onion and parsley. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. Cilantro. Well, what's, the, what's the pepper you use? Um, um, red chili? No, uh, green, green chili. Green chili. The green, there's no red here. Because it doesn't have that long... Tails, yeah. Right. No. It's it hits the top tail. of your, you know, I'm learning from all the food we have on. The other food burned the back of my tongue. It burned your tongue. It burned my ears. It this my one is the tip of my tongue. tongue. It's totally, you know, so I'm learning really. food. I'm learning Spanish. I'm learning coffee. It's a good thing we've got a show so I can learn everything. Now you just need to learn some opera. And you'll yeah. be good. Do you know yeah. that Dawn sing? No. Do you sing, Dawn? Do you really? Come on. I'd love to and, have you. Come and, on. Ladies and gentlemen, and I discovered she plays the piano. Oh. Have your mother come the here. The voice lessons went with the piano lessons. There was a lot of all of those classical. But you play the piano. Yes, and that was. And you sing. Yes, and they and always and they always said it was training you as opera and classically trained. It was yeah. none of the modern music first. So it was always, and when you're learning piano, it was all of the classics you had to learn. Yeah. And you go why why why? And they said you'll understand one day. Yep. But just like you. It's, it's exactly amazing. right. You and have to learn the technique. And she the hits breathing. the high octaves. You know what happens when you sing high like you do? Yeah. A lot of people get embarrassed because it's high. Even even the song you just sang. Yeah. He sang in a high opera voice. He was up there. Yeah. Right? I mean, Cara Mia, Jay Black and the Americans. There was an opera singer before him that sang it, pretty operatic. Can't remember the name, but you know, there's but just different versions. Tone. Yeah, a tenor. Yeah. A tenor. And one of the reasons, and I did my homework. So this is that group Ooh, of tenors from yeah. Canada. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. They are unbelievable. I know. I know. I watched them for two hours mm -hmm. on PBS. And one of the reasons yeah. that Dawn stopped singing is because she was in the high octaves, and she probably thought that people thought that was kind of weird, so you didn't pursue it. Come on, tell me the truth. Come on, come on. <laughs> I know it's true. Get out of my head. And I know Mom <laughs> How told the heck me. would you even know I that? I know lots of stuff, man. I do my homework. But yeah. Dawn can sing and play the piano. Oh my gosh. And I bet you that if you had her by your side. And I she, believe you now because. And she, <laughs> and she sheds, I'm gonna make you cry. And she sheds and plays the piano and you sing, I bet you'd come out of your show. Mm. I'll be a hundred bucks. Love to do a duet. <laughs> yeah. Get out of everyone in. Love, love it. Love it. He's gonna tell him not to make you cry. He's gonna get everybody else on the set. Oh what my gosh. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of Elvis Presley, Can't Help Falling in Love. A lot of people yeah, love to dance to this song. I love that like song. song. <laughs> yeah. Again, do you? Oh, it's good. Facebook. I, why do you listen to it every day? Are you going to dance? It reminds me of like, the old movies that I mm -hmm. also enjoy. Really? Yes. You yeah. like the black and white? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I am. Kind of an old soul. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Old, 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 old fashioned. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Let's cue it up. All let's right. cue it around mics and let's go.
where you are. Okay, so I have a lot on Facebook, and then I have a lot of YouTube videos. I also have business cards as well. I have CDs that I sell. So. And it's under what name? Christina Notke. So first name with a K, K R I S T I N A. Last name N O T G H I. Do you have a phone number where people can reach you? I do. It's five six one four six zero six nine seven five. Or you can email me as well. Uh, my email is k r i s t y nine zero at msn dot com. You can always call us at eight 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 nine nine four four nine nine five. Let's go to commercial for break for the next fifteen minutes, and I'll give you the radio number. We're gonna eat some more. Yeah, one more round. We got some more. We got some more empanadas from <laughs> Colombian Coffee House. Come on down, grab some coffee, grab some empanadas. We've got lots of food. We've got cookies. We've got Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the Brooklyn Cafe, where every day is a new adventure. If you'd like to join Dawn and Freddie S. Are you a warrior soul? Are you looking for spiritual healing? Are you looking for protection against negativity? Warrior Soul Crystals represent confidence, brings you a sense of wholeness and balance. Mala necklaces consist of 108 beads carved from natural and semi-precious stones. Mala can be used to center your meditation, strengthen your yoga practice, or accent your everyday beauty. Visit WarriorSoulCO.com or call 561-307-9049 to purchase your bracelet or necklace today. Discover your purpose. Let's all welcome a new sponsor to the show. It's Amp2TV, the first and only internet production company that's truly plugged in. When you're looking for a full-service internet TV radio production company, discover Amp2TV, a full-service production company that can provide all streaming videos in studio or remotely. They offer web page development, and they use all the latest platforms to help make all your business selling points more powerful. They can do remotes or live radio streaming as well as tape productions for social media platforms and television. Amp2 TV can handle all of your television needs, including closed caption for a perfect on-air telecast. Choose from a variety of creative TV and radio packages or visit one of their many studios to get your creative juices flowing. Come and see why Amp2 TV works with many major companies, including Comcast, Bravo, and Fox 29, as well as individuals and businesses of all types and sizes. To see samples of their work or to find out more, visit their website at amp2.tv. That's A M. right off the Atlantic Avenue, downtown Del Rey Beach on 5th Avenue. The address is 12 Southeast 5th Avenue. And because 5th Avenue is a one-way street, you always have to go south. So you have to head south, and they are just south of Atlantic Avenue on the west side of the street. Oh my goodness, such a treat. There is some parking across the street. There's parking along Atlantic Avenue. What are the days you're open and your hours? We open Monday through Wednesday from 7 to 8 o'clock at night, 7 in the morning. And then uh, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm sorry, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, Thursday and Friday we open from 7 to 9, so one hour more. Um, Saturday and Sundays we open at 8 in the morning. And then Saturdays we close at 9, Sundays we close at 7. Every day, all I'm telling you, breakfast, lunch, dinner, coffee, you name it, you have to go down and check them out. The nicest best food, delicious coffee. You know, I know we try and push our coffee, but their coffee's really good. It is good. So you've got both. And you know, here it is, double fisting. Mom, sorry, you trained me a different way, but you've got to go <laughs> which coffee you're having. Did you try the empanada? Mm. You Excellent. Like? I love it. It's very good. You guys should open up in Wellington. <laughs> no, you yeah, do that's well. You know something? Yeah. Was she the one that told you to open up in Wellington? No. Somebody it's, yesterday yeah. to open up in Wellington. Right? It's been many people. Uh, clients come from 
from West Palm Beach, from Boca, from Wellington, and they said, please open it close to us. <laughs> Actually, for no, there you know, well, be a really good place on Southwest 18th Street where we're going to be on January, what day? Okay. You don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. January 13th from 1 until 4 p.m. We will be hosting and live streaming with Steve-O. You should come as well, New York Sound. The grand reopening of the boardwalk mm. on Southwest 18th Street. It's on Southwest mm -hmm. 18th Street and Powerline Road in Boca Raton. It was a $30 million dollar renovation. And they've got these adorable little huts on the lake right in Boca Point area. There are nine restaurants, but there's nothing like what you have. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh, it would be, I mean, it's close, but it's far from where you are, so it's like enough distance, so you get a whole other clientele, and there's a lot of parking on Southwest 18th Street. That's right, and we're going to have a dunk tank, come on out, because the one's going to be, you know, past the bubble. I just want to know, have you all noticed, apparently now I sing, I play the piano, <laughs> I still don't dunk? cook, and now I'm going to dunk tank, all the things I learned on our show. Well, that's what I mean, <laughs> that you do sing, and you do play the piano, no, you're not going to be in the dunk tank, I think, um, somebody else said that she would do it. I think Susan, Susan Warline said she was going to be in the dunk tank. Doing, I'm going to dress up like Superwoman. But save the day on January 13th, we will be there on New Year's Eve. I'm going to Corner Porch. I don't know what you're what you're doing New Year's I Eve. I hope I will be there too. But I'm thinking we're going to be at Corner Porch and DJ Furious, and it's spelled with a Z, is going to be there with New York Sound. So you have to call Mo and get, see what's going on with him. But you can probably make reservations at Corner Porch. The number is 561-266-3349. Yeah, I was actually at Arturo's. Uh, I sing with Gino DeMarco there. And she was she there hanging out or was she there uh, singing? She was there one night singing. Singing? Mm -hmm. Arturo's is what, on Federal Highway? It is. Isn't it? Yep. Mm -hmm. oh Great place. God. And they have oh amazing God. food. And the ambiance is great. Have you ever been there? I've never been there. Oh, you guys should it. come. Where is it? On Federal Highway in Boca. It's around um, Clintmore. Yeah. yeah. It's yep. my house. There you go. Yes. Clintmore and Federal. Oh, I know that. You should come January 16th. I'll be there. Really? Mm -hmm. What time are you going to be there? 7 o'clock. What day of the week is that? That's a Wednesday. Of course it is. Usually I do a Thursday or a Friday. Well, oh. usually it would work for me. Wednesday, yeah. unfortunately, is uh, my Sarah spiritual hour. Okay. I do that for three hours, actually. There you go. But if you're there on the Thursday, I'll let you know. We'll, we'll talk to Arturo. We'll have to talk to Arturo. Maybe bring him up. Maybe bring him in, Christina. Maybe we'll bribe him. <laughs> 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 There's a lot going on. And you have anything to learn for the holidays or specials at Colombian Coffeehouse? Well, at the moment, we um, just uh, give it all the love in the food and in the coffee to people, wishing them, uh, you know, a very happy time for the holidays. We dress up every day. You know, the girls has like a little um, tiara. Tiara, <laughs> or uh, how you call it? Like, what tiara is at the place? Not Everything. tiara, but it's like something with the with the I ears that. and I things. Like <laughs> What's What's an elf? Has ears. Yeah, and a tiara doesn't. Well, she <laughs> said tiara. I think she, she didn't mean she meant an elf. Yeah, exactly. With their okay. horns, like a bull. Well, an elf doesn't have horns. They should have ears. Just saying. Now, can you rent out your place, like for brunches or things of that nature? Yeah, definitely. I mean, we are open to to please you guys. Like I said at the beginning, I mean, we are open to just uh, do for you whatever okay, you right. need, if it's possible for us, of course, because our space is not too big. It's just very cozy and small and kind of. Do like you I cater said. things? Yes, we do. Uh, let's talk about that for a couple of minutes. You actually, if you want to order Latino food or Colombian food, you will cater it. We do. We actually attend uh, a couple of weddings already that they really? want. Yeah, they, they are a morning wedding, so we we ca we cater the coffee and the pastries and the pan de bono, which like is breakfast for the breakfast. breakfast. Friday. Pan de bono is a gluten free cheese bread that is typical from Colombia. Really? Yeah, I gotta, oh, God, I gotta try that. Okay. I gotta get yeah. it, but I'll try it. That's made Again, out. Why am I wearing elastic clothes? I hang out with you so much. What the heck? Yeah, I'm the one eating, or you're the one eating. I'm gonna be going to WW with you. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be joining me. Exactly. So, what is the number to get in contact if people want to order for? Uh, sure. Uh, we also have delivery dudes and uh, Uber Eats that do that you service. You deliver here? Uh, delivery dudes and Uber right. Eats. We Would do not. Yeah, yes. of course. Yeah, all the Ray area. Uh, I think they go. 
till like the limits with uh, Boynton and Boca, I believe. Um, but w you can actually call us and place your order. You can see our menu uh, through those two companies um, that deliver for us, or call us, our phone number is 561-562-5572. Of course, we are in Instagram and Facebook at uh, the address is at callcoffeehouse.com, C-O-L, coffeehouse.com. You know what I want to do? But Monday, we've got a group of kids from Eat Better, Live Better from one of the community centers joining us. And I would like to get some food for them for lunch. That would be very cool. Can we put them in order and have... Maybe we can have Uber Eats or, or someone else or um, Blueberry Dudes bring some food up for yes. these kids on Monday. Because you know what? They're on vacation and a lot of these kids that are in the community centers and they're taught at one school, they get their food from the schools. And when they're out of school, You're they don't always get the food. You're so I would like to be able to give back. Christmas Eve and get some food for the kids. I like to teach tradition. Like you, mm -hmm. I've learned today there's a different type of food. If I've eaten this all my life, but not, it doesn't taste like this. Right. It's different. Totally different. And that's one of the reasons that I had originally invited you up because normally we have a, a couple of Dominicans, a couple of people from Puerto Rico, a couple of people from different parts. In Spanish, when we sort of trade off foods, mm -hmm. but you just blew it off the water. So. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you so much for joining us. Yes. Um, yes, last thing. <laughs> Guys, find us in uh, Facebook. We, we got right now um, in Messenger. If you register there, you can win one coffee by five days per week for whole year, really? next year. Yeah. What? All right, how does it you register? Can, well, hold it, hold it, a hold cup it. of coffee for a year. So if I win this, I get a cup of coffee for a whole year every day? Yes. You register on, on Messenger and we got a, a, have a winner for one cup of coffee, five days at the, at the week for a whole year. Hey, wait, wait, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Find us in Facebook. That's pretty cool. Absolutely. Send a message to them on Messenger at Colombian Coffee House or Cold Coffee House. You can find them that way as well. You know, Facebook's kind of wonky that way because you put in Colombian Coffee House, but you have to have the right verbiage for it to find it. So it's and, don't let, and don't let them write it because they turn their <laughs> own rights down. They wrote an ad for us and they turned it down. It's their own ad. It's funny. <laughs> it's Marcus, the funniest thing. I was on the phone with them last week about putting an ad in. 45 minutes on the phone. The next day, Facebook says your ad is denied. But they said, wrote but you it. you wrote it. Then it took them a week to release it and say, oh, okay, now we'll approve it. And it was their own. It was Comcast, though. Uh, it was not gas, it was Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. It was unbelievable. I never seen, and they, they, they released it yesterday, by the way. They, they, and the funny thing is that if I want a technician to help me, they charge me $5. They already said it's much $5. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all included. I said, yeah. yeah. I'm just so done with it. It's the funniest thing. Thank you, Christina. I hope any of you want to stay, but on our next hour, we've got Sophia with us, and we're talking about health. health. New Year's resolutions. We've had a week, you know, it's been a week of eating. Yeah. And I tell you, Monday I'm starting, but Monday's Christmas Eve. So I yeah. think I've got a whole other week of Monday eating. Of next year. And then start New Year's resolutions. Yeah. I have about another 10 days of this. All right, so listen, we're going to shut it down. We're going to regroup. Reboot it. Re-Facebook watch we're it. We're going to reboot it, yes. So we'll be right back. We're not going anywhere. We're going to reboot it. Okay, we got it. Check out Columbia Coffee House. We're going to be at 95.3 FM, 1470 AM. We'll see you back in two and two. At this point. Bye-bye.